prepared some notes on this because I knew it was going to come up, so I'm going to follow those because I want to make sure I get this right. There was actually a post that came out today. It's completely fabricated about the, the Hunt Street um, campus that was taken down today. Um, I was told that the author of that was part of that group, so it explains to me quite a bit of the uh, uh, untruths. But the fact of the matter is, it's not illegal to be homeless. This is a very serious and growing issue with extremely sensitive aspects, often dealing with mental health and addiction. We work with the Durham Region Health Department and local agencies to provide access to services for our unhoused population. We do our best to ensure that they have a caseworker and access to housing when available. And I've been told by the experts that deal with our unsheltered every day that often the people living in these camps are there because they've turned down this help. They don't want to abide by the rules of the shelters. In the case of Hunt Street today, the occupants had left the site. The site was abandoned when DRPS arrived there this morning. They'd removed their personal belongings and taken most. There was some left behind that was not touched and I assumed that collected later. DRPS secured the site and I had town staff come in and clean it up. I did attend this morning as support to make sure they had everything needed to deal with the situation. And when I got there, the region was not there, so I immediately reached out and made sure that the PCOT team came in case an occupant returned and needed assistance. It's been cleaned up now and the problem has not and will not go away and I don't know what the solution is.